Good afternoon. Right now, I am at uh, Maharashtra Mahapoli Plus, and with me is Mr. Rajesh Sethi. He is the managing director of this company, as well as Mr. Netik Sethi. He is, he is also here, who is the director of this company. Uh, Maharashtra Mahapoli Plus is into roto, uh, roto molding machines. So, good afternoon to both of you, and welcome to Modern Plastics TV. Uh, just can you, in uh, in short uh, detail, can you tell what uh, Maharashtra uh, Ma Poly Plus does exactly? Yeah, good afternoon. I am R.K. Sethi from Maharashtra Ma Poly Plus Private Limited, Mumbai. We are dealing in the roto molding products. We are very specialized in the custom molding, rotational molding machines and custom molding, roto molding uh, molds. We are highly specialized in high-tech CNC machine molds for automobile sector, solid waste management, ammunition boxes, garbage bins, and many more products. And our team is specialized in the concept product designing. We are the leading manufacturer, and during the Plus Division, we have developed a very high-end express series roto molding machine, which is the fastest machine available in India now. The production capacity is almost 8 to 10 tons per day. The capacity of that machine is almost equivalent to the, the injection molding processing time. So this is the new technology, definitely it will be beneficial to the all Indian uh, mold manif molders and it will help to the all automotive sectors in other fields. Secondly sir, uh, any new machine that you are displaying at this show sir? Yeah, and the new machine we have launched during the Plus Division and we already installed one of the leading automotive molders in India, that is the BDI industry and that is a very high-end machine. So we have displayed our machine and features and all over the world they have liked these features. That is the latest express series machine. It's a very fuel efficient machine and very economical machine compared to the all other roto molding machine. Plus India 2023 has seen a lot of generations in various companies coming through. We have seen a nice succession plan in many of the companies and it's good to see young executives taking the mantle which the other people have done. Right now we are in the stall of uh, Maharashtra Mahapoly Plus Private Limited where we've got Mr. Netik Sethi who is director in the company. Netik, welcome to Plus India 2023. It seems it's been a long wait of five long years. How has the response been like till now? So as you rightly said, it's been a long uh, thing. After I think so, after COVID, this is like India has seen the biggest turnout for plas plastic, especially not just uh, roto molding. It's been a huge crowd. We last four days has been totally jam packed for us, and we are really happy and we are really appreciating the efforts of Plast India and the government of India, which has supported plastic industry. And I hope if this continues, we'll become the largest manufacturers in plastics in the world. Yeah. Wonderful. And uh, since we're talking about domestic market, recently we had our minister, Mr. Mansuk Mandavia ji, here for a meeting with all the CEOs. He had a meeting with uh, the global CEOs as well as the Indian. What was the general mood like if you had a sense after talking to the others? And also, uh, recently we had our budget. Do you think government is doing enough for helping the sector? Do you think something more needs to be done? I think so. The budget was good enough. But uh, again, I would feel like if the government also supports the MSMEs. So it's been uh, for the big players, it's been like the Reliance and all, all these uh, companies, the government has been supportive. For us also, I feel if some more supportive, especially in the field of like giving some subsidies for manufacturing in India, like if you see the, the Chinese, what they used to get, the, the development, the manpower, we have got huge manpower. If you see, we can become the largest manufacturers because we have the huge manpower. The cost in India is very reasonable as compared to the world, globally, if you see. So I feel some more supportive from the government and a bit more initiative, we may become the biggest. Like That's the thing, what I feel. Talking about global markets, recently we've heard that, you know, a lot is happening on the Chinese front, you know. They had lockdown after lockdown, despite the best effort of government there. And that is creating a lot of supply side issues for local companies here. Even technology comes from China here. And also we are in for a long winter in Europe. Do you think these two factors will impact the Indian market in any way? I don't feel so because we as Indians, I feel we can do anything in the world. So if you say after the COVID, we have been benefited a lot, especially Chinese market being going down after COVID. Indian market has seen a rocket uh, thing in the growth, especially the manufacturing sectors in India. We have uh, executed a lot. More, I think so 70-80 percent people who should go to for importing things from China. We have developed in India the Make in India initiative by Mr. Modi ji. I think so it's been a huge success for us. And uh, I think so. I 
if uh, things work out, it has actually benefited. COVID has actually benefited us actually after the Chinese government going down and the COVID things were happening in China. Yeah. Talking about Maharashtra Maha Polyplast Table, any new technology that you're working on, some new service that you would like to talk about on Modern Plastics TV? Yeah. So basically, as we said, we have launched like the fastest rotor molding in uh, the machine in India and especially globally. So this has matched, people used to think like rotor molding is a very slow technology where that process is a very slow process and people used to divert to injection molding. But the technology, the machines which we have launched in Plast India this year, like uh, we have shown the, to our customers, they are really happy. These machines are mostly for the automotive sector. As we see the automotive sector is going to go, is we're getting a lot, especially Mahindra, John Deere and these companies. We have installed our machines in BDI Industries who are the largest manufacturers of automotive sectors in rotor molding in India. So these is one of the, uh, like the product which we have targeted and custom molding products huge, like all kind of military ammunition boxes we have targeted. School desk, we have a, we have a tie up with a US based company called QDES. So we have taken the authorized, we are the authorized licensee for QDES and we supply uh, this mold across 18 countries globally. So being Mexico, Prague, uh, then US, Uganda, African nations. So these are some products and many more. Like anything, whatever you ask, we have everything. We can give you anything in the world. Like. So looking at this huge array of activities, uh, we had a very mixed uh, financial year this year. What expectations are you having from the coming financial year? So I think so some more benefits, as I said, some more benefits like MSME, if you get some benefits, 100% and the, like the growth of polymers, especially polymers, it's been huge. So I think so this year is going to be, next two years, I think so it's going to be a rocket uh, thing for us, for all the, not just us, the entire plastic industry in India. So. I think despite your business schedule, you to time out to talk to Modern Plastics TV. Thank you so much. And we wish you all the luck in business in future. All you do. Thank you.